Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Something I see a ton of comments about, whether it be here on YouTube during the videos or over on my Twitter even, is Zach, am I using the correct grip on a certain weapon? Should I be using polymer instead of hatched? Should I be using rubber instead of hatched? Should I be using taped instead of something like granular? What are the best options? What should I be running on this specific gun? Well, today I've gone through and sort of cross-referenced all the stats between every single grip that we've got to figure out what you should be using in any given situation. Exactly exactly what each grip does to a T based off of information on sim and true game data. So it's all cross reference to the two best sources for weapon stats and all the stats in game and figuring out what exactly you'd use each one for in any given situation. So I've actually gone through and made this little graphic to make things easier where we are breaking down every single grip that we have. It's pros, the cons that it potentially has data mined or just in general, and then also what it's best for, right? Uh, there is one thing to note. You guys notice the asterisks on certain uh, stats, and that's because the, the values are different for certain weapons, which is a really somewhat inconvenient stat that it's not a universal thing. It's not like, uh, you know, Stipple will always give a 3% faster recenter. It's different. It depends on if you're using a Cooper or an Armagera or a bar, you know, so the values are going to change based on what exactly uh, you're using there. But let's go through and go through this list. So first up here, we've got hatched. Now, the pros based off the data mine information and the tested stuff from Tony or two game data so that it says that this gives you 5% horizontal better control. So that'll help out with any weapon that has horizontal bounce, but you also get 3% vertical control as well. So hatched is giving you a good amount of control in each area and it does doesn't have any cons it's not going to hurt your ads your aiming stability anything like that so you could even go more in depth and say it's best to use for weapons that primarily have horizontal control but patterns that are going to go up and to the left or up and to the right like things uh for instance like the kg or even the as44 which have sort of horizontal patterns or diagonal patterns like that right so you'll get a little bit of help in each area horizontal control is always a very very important thing to focus on because that's a lot harder to control and predict whether you're on keyboard and mouse or controller than vertical Vertical, which is simply pulling back that's not really a huge concern for most players so the fact that you're getting both here is a really nice added pro but the fact that it does attack horizontal is really really convenient next up we've got fabric and this is a very interesting one so keep in mind the exact values of the faster ads this faster sprints of fire which is what that stands for and the improved hip fire accuracy that fabric offers differs between weapons so it's not going to be the same on your armagera as it necessarily would be on your mp40 or your sten right it is going to be individual uh specific to those guns now this does have the con of minus five percent horizontal recoil which is a bit unfortunate so weapons that already have a good amount of horizontal recoil you probably don't want to run this like i would never run fabric grip on its hype 100 but on something like the blixen for instance which has largely vertical control and then splits off horizontally at uh, you know those later shots you could run fabric and you won't notice much of a drawback there so this is best for aggressive ads builds and faster builds that you want to use primarily for subs that have low recoil when it comes to horizontal movement already so knowing the patterns of these guns and making sure that you're not going to ruin it more or make it unusable by using this is something you have to take note of but if you're looking for a build that's going to give you a faster ads time while also increasing your sprint to fire and just making you super aggressive fabric's obviously the way to go this is especially good on subs and subs primarily i really wouldn't use this on like a, a rifle unless i was trying to build a rifle smg hybrid moving on down taped here uh is a very interesting one and one that of course you guys see me recommend on a ton of different weapons the pros here you get a faster sprint of fire you get a faster swap speed as well and you also have faster sprint speed and faster general movement speed as well so you're getting a ton of pros out of taped and curiously enough no cons this is an entirely movement based grip that is perfect for aggressive builds that again have low recoil obviously uh, in certain situations if a weapon has a lot of recoil like the type 100 you might want to use a different grip that we'll talk about here momentarily but uh it is wild how beneficial taped is if you're looking for a fast aggressive addition to one of your smg classes or if you have a heavier rifle like for instance on the kgm 40 i've been running taped grip a lot there because it gives it more of an aggressive rifle property rather than feeling more like an lmg ar hybrid with its really slow movement and whatnot so you can definitely use this in situations like that but if you're looking for movement based builds there is very few options better than taped going back up to the top we've got rubber and this is an especially interesting one this ends up giving you a five percent increase to vertical recoil control 
it does not have any cons so it's not going to hurt your ads or the horizontal control so this is just best for guns that primarily have vertical recoil patterns and honestly as i mentioned we were talking about hatched vertical control is not really the worst uh thing to get used to because that's very easy to counter and very easy to learn because you're just simply pulling back it just matters how much you're pulling back on any given weapon so rubber is one of these grips that i don't feel like is necessarily going to be utilized that much because it's only attacking the easiest part to learn on your own in most cases now that said there are certainly weapons that would benefit from using the rubber grip like the bar which only has vertical control if you want to minimize that someone make it more close to what its pre-patch version was you could use this and that would certainly help out moving on to grooved grip here uh this one is actually unique i guess you could say because it's going to give you a better ads movement speed so you have to be aiming down sights but that strafe speed whether you're going front back left right is going to be a little bit faster also gives you better horizontal recoil control but it is going to hurt your ads and your sprint to fire so again i bring the type 100 into this situation you might hear better ads movement speed so for a strafe uh, build and then also better horizontal control which the type 100 has a lot of you might say okay groove has got to be great for that well the type 100 already has a really bad ads time versus other subs and it's sprint to fire is a little bit worse than other subs so maybe it's not gonna be the best looking option out there right uh that said if you already have a weapon that has a decent ads speed or a decent sprint to fire speed or something like that has gung ho grooved certainly is going to help out a lot in my opinion this is best for builds that need ads strafe speed uh you could use this for instance maybe on the uh volk if you wanted to for that strafe build uh but also something that might have a bit more horizontal control this can help out there but it is important to keep in mind grooved is going to uh end up hurting a lot of your uh ads and sprint to fire so i wouldn't necessarily be using this on a lot of subs this to me is something that can benefit some rifles uh some tack rifles some lmgs if you're looking for a slightly uh more speedy build than ads the stippy grippy up next this is an interesting one because for the pros here it gives you a one to two percent initial vertical control increase depending on the weapon is what i uh found between uh true game data and sim that seemed to be the common denominator this also gives you a faster recenter so once you stop shooting uh and you're obviously your aim is deviated a bit from your center point when uh, because the recoil pattern obviously it'll go back to that center a little bit faster now is that useful in most situations not necessarily what it is very useful for is if you're using any burst weapons so the itra burst for example the ugm with the burst barrel any weapon that has a burst barrel for that matter or something you tap fire a lot maybe that is the bar maybe that's a different weapon that has maybe a little bit more control or something that you're trying to be laser accurate with stippy can help out a lot there the tack rifles for instance could greatly benefit from using this because of that faster recenter aspect but primarily targeting burst and weapons that you're not continuously firing now granular is another interesting one the pros here are simply a faster ads movement speed so that strafe speed yet again is looking very good so strafe builds like the volk the type 100 etc might end up being a bit better with granular grip on there it's got an interesting con though because it mentions in the pros that granular gives you better recoil recovery according to all the stats that i saw on sim and true game data there was no recoil recovery or weapon kick pro that was listed there unless they both ended up missing that somehow which i find unlikely considering how uh sim is data mine and tony puts in the most hours i've ever seen any human put into anything for testing stats uh it, it, it's just an interesting factor that's not right we've oftentimes seen where attachments don't necessarily do what they say and this appears to be one of those situations what is this best for though as mentioned strafe builds so you don't really see any major cons here you're just not getting better recoil recovery but that faster ads movement speed is certainly nice but then we've only got three more to go here on the right side of my image so i'll have to scroll down so you guys can read the text a little bit better but for the leather grip here this is another one that i see a lot of players use this gives you a faster ads speed it varies depending on the weapon but also a faster ads movement so better strafe yet again now it's cons it gives you worse hip fire and then the weapon specific portion of this is that it is uh not giving you a standard better ads like on some weapons the ads increase probably is not worth it others though it is worth it what is this best for though increasing your ads speed and mobility i think a lot on snipers this is the primary uh you know weapon category that this targets the most at least in my opinion just because uh with the increased ads and making it faster a lot of the vanguard snipes struggle from being aggressive like that so that's a primary option there and you get the added increased bonus of having a faster strafe speed as well which you really can never complain about then we've got polymer which of course was a super popular grip for quite some time now after all the changes that it's undergone this only gives you a four percent vertical control increase 
it does not have any cons so obviously this is best for vertical recoil while shooting because this is a sustained fire uh grip it only gives you that plus four vertical control after a certain amount of shots depending on the weapon so uh to me if you're going to use polymer you might as well just use rubber instead because it's doing the same thing except it does it more and it's constant instead of only while you're continuously fighting so polymer now kind of useless in a lot of ways uh and then lastly we get the pine tar grip this actually is another crazy one this gives you a nine percent vertical control increase which is ridiculously good this also helps out with your hip fire control or your hip fire spread rather so it makes it tighter it does hurt your ads though uh so primarily this is going to be used the most for hip fire builds the vanguard ppsh for instance with the crazy hip fire build this would work really well for that any other weapons you want to build out to be hip fire specific i think there's even a version of the ugm8 with one of the barrels that gives you like a crazy sprint speed while you're firing you could use pine tar on that and it would help out a lot you could try and play the route of uh, using this for that vertical control increase however uh with the hindrance to the ads i'm not sure if that would necessarily be worth it in a lot of cases you could certainly test it out and see if you like pine tar over rubber for the uh, increased vertical control there but uh, at a certain point weapons aren't going to benefit from that much vertical control because like i said vertical control is so easy and i feel like that'd be a minimal difference on a lot of these low recoil builds that we already have for vanguard guns that are just so easy as is but definitely an interesting one there because that's a pretty extreme increase which ones stand out the most to me got to be hatched got to be taped rubber is decent for that uh obviously vertical control uh then also i would say leather and pine tar those are the main ones that i'd be looking at for a lot of the situations here but that said that'll wrap things up for this one hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed feel free to hit that sub button turn on those post notifications because every day i got you covered with everything going on in cod but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i will catch you guys later Peace out.